Did you know people love watching these animated short story videos just like this? Aha! Found it! Yay! Ah, the Moonstone, passed down through generations. It holds the magic of moonlight. Help! My friend is trapped! Please, need your help to get him out! Trapped? How can we help? Only the purest heart, bathed in moonlight, can release him! The forest holds him, and only your moonstone can get him free! Oh, Luna, let's go and free your friend! If done correctly following my steps, you can earn as much as $4,000 to $13,000 per month. Yes! This is why this niche is called the Golden Niche. And the best part is all the work will be done for you by artificial intelligence, AI. Your question is, how will you make this money from creating these videos? Well, remember to subscribe and I will reveal just how at the end of this video. Here are the four free applications we would need to produce these Pixar or Disney-like stories and it's absolutely for free. Oh, you might be wondering, why is my avatar presenting today and not me? Well, I don't have the energy to set up for a shoot and my avatar offered, so why not? Before we continue, you can click on this video right here to see how to create your own avatar. It might be useful to you. Step 1. Script Production First step, you're going to go to Google's Bird. Google's Bird is just like ChatGPT. And you're going to write a simple prompt for it to create a story for you. Create a pizza-like story. So look at my prompt. I said, create a short narrative pizza story with human characters, one minute long, very engaging. So that's the first thing you do. And then this is the story. She has created a story. The story is going to have three characters, as you can see, Finn, Luna, and the grandmother. It tells us the opening scene. And tells us what Finn says. So it gives us a full script. Now, this is the first part. You get your script. Also, you can tell Google Bird to create 10 visual prompts for the story it has just created. This would be very helpful in creating text to image or creating the images out of the text. And that takes us to step two, text to image creation. The second part, you're going to go to leonardo.ai open leonardo.ai and you've logged in this page comes out okay then you go straight to image generation go back to google bad and the prompts you are created for you you pick the prompts one by one and take it to leonardo.ai and paste it here where it was ai image generation when you paste it make sure you write 4k at the end and pizza quality so you can create those kind of images that you need for this pizza style video when you're done with that you press generate and look at what it generated for me you can see all those cottages that used to begin the video and then whenever it generates for you look for the best ones and you save i did the same thing to create this boy's character it created all these four different characters for me and i saved them you go back to google um bard copy your prompt and paste but because i am used to storytelling you can see i didn't use google bad prompts i created my own prompts by myself because i knew exactly what i wanted to see in the video in the storytelling so i created my prompts myself okay and i click generate now you're going to do this process for all the scenes all the clips that you need to tell the story okay very important this is the grandmother's own when you've gotten all your generated pictures together Okay, keep them in a safe space. The next thing we are going to do, which is going to be step number three, is animating the generated pictures. Now, you can animate pictures already created here in Leonardo's AI. All you have to do is go to that picture and you see this place they wrote new with this um, movie sign. Just click it. It's going to make that picture into a motion picture. That's what it has done to this one. Has made it a motion picture you can see the firefly is moving a bit they might have a bit of error so you have to look at it very carefully that is the third part in this sequence animate all the pictures you generated with ai and you're still going to animate them with ai so i'm going to show you another uh, ai tool that you can use to animate these pictures and that ai tool is called runway when you open runway you're going to register sign in with your email address and your password and then you come in then this is what the interface looks like so what you do is either you start with an image if you want to animate an already made image in our case or you can start with text where you want them to create the image for you and animate it for you 
you can also try that. But I like to use um, Leonardo's AI because the images from Leonardo's AI are always richer to me. So you click start with image. Since we already have images we've already done right here, then you upload the image. So it's going to load on the dashboard. You're going to do this for all the clips you've downloaded because you need it for your storytelling. You need your pictures to have some form of motion. Okay? And then we're going to write generate. When you start, you start with 90 seconds. I have 47 seconds left because I have been doing a lot of exporting, a lot of animations. So it will animate that picture. And when the picture is done animating, you can save it. I'm going to show you how to save. It's just the same way. You look for that download icon that is almost on every website and then you download it. So this is it. I've, I've used it to generate most of my, most of the videos. Okay, look at this one I generated with this style. Step four talking animation you know that for instance now the grandma said uh, something in the script the moonstone sorry please beg your pardon so the grandma said something in the script you have to look at your script and know who said what so this is the stage for us to do voiceovers that is voiceovers of this script and also make because you're trying to make their mouth move what they are saying so grandma said, ah, the moonstone passed down through generations. It holds the magic of the moonlight. So we are going to go to this third app, which is called DubDab. I've told you about DubDab before. It's a very important app. When you open DubDab app, this is what it looks like. So we are going to go to AI avatar. You click AI avatar, you upload your picture. So the picture that we want to animate, the picture that we want to talk was the picture of grandma. Let's upload the picture. And then DubDab has... A space for you to do your voiceover so that has the ability to return your text to voiceovers i'm going to go to voiceover there's a female voiceover here already selected for her it's fine confirm if watching to anything you can just change it to any other person's picture here and just press confirm and then you write the script you want her to voice whatever thing was in your script you just copy and paste it here you press play i don't want to do it because when take so we have play and it's going to just say hello hello so okay then you do generate and upload so you do change you now write click I, i'm not going to do it now because i've already done everything i needed to do so it's now quick generate so it's going to turn grandma to talking about her she's going to talk how she talked in the beginning of the video now you're going to do this for every time the characters talk okay but you're going to have challenges with characters that are not human beings for example the firefly i had a challenge with making him talk and then all the creatures in the forest I had a problem with making them talk but this is the way you make your avatars talk extremely important step four merge all clips using the CapCut app so bring all the clips you generated all the animated videos you generated all the talking avatars you generated bring everything into CapCut, and then organize them and arrange them in the sequence of your script and that is it guys the only thing you would need to do at this point is to just add extra voiceovers you can just voice them with your by yourself or you can still use another ai you can use level labs to do the voiceovers if you want to and the last thing is just you do your sounds just put some sound here and some sound there to make the story come alive guys that's the video and if you have problems you don't know how to edit in CapCut, i'm going to leave a link to a video down below how to edit in CapCut. and guys that is the video and right now i'm going to play the finished video for you i'm going to see you guys on the next video have a lovely day bye aha found it yay ah the moonstone passed down through generations it holds the magic of moonlight help my friend is trapped please need your help to get him out trapped how can we help? Only the purest heart, bathed in moonlight, can release him. The forest holds him, and only your moonstone can get him free. Oh, Luna, let's go and free your friend. So, the young boy set on the journey to rescue the firefly's friend using his moonstone. On his way, he met the first forest creature which said, To pass through. You must answer this riddle. I have keys, but open no doors. I have space, but hold no rooms. What am I? The answer is a piano. Very well. You may pass through. After a few meters, they reach a moonlit clearing. This is it. Place the moonstone on the stone table. And just like that, a majestic stag appears. Firefly's friend was freed. He bows gracefully to Finn. Luna glows brighter than ever, buzzing happily. Thank you, young one. 
Your courage and pure heart freed me. Remember, kindness shines brighter than any lantern. Finn and Luna return home, hearts full of wonder, forever bound by their shared adventure.